In this video, I will solve your doubts about how to change the debounce time on your HyperX Pulsefire Haste and whether or not it is possible to do this. As you might be aware, the main way to change various different settings about your Pulsefire Haste mouse is through the Ingenuity software. So, if you want to change various things about the sensors and the buttons on your HyperX device, you have to download Ingenuity. You can find it on the official website and you can find the option here to download for Windows. Now, when you download HyperX and Ingenuity, you will be able to open it up and your HyperX Pulsefire Haste, either the first version or the second one, will be detected. Of course, if you have other mice from HyperX, they will appear here as well. Now, what you will notice is that you have two main options related to the actual, actual buttons and the clicks, buttons and sensors. Lights refers to the RGB, so we don't particularly care about that. So, if you go over to buttons first, all that you can do here is change the specific assignments. So for example, you can assign a specific button to the side buttons here. You can change what each of these buttons do and so on. Of course, none of this refers to debounce time. So this is not what we're looking for. What about the sensor? Well, the main thing that you will see here are the DPI settings. But besides this, there is nothing. So as it stands today, is it truly impossible? Do they not give users control over the debounce time on their HyperX mice? Sadly, as it stands today, changing the debounce time on any HyperX mice, including the Pulsefire Haste, is impossible. For whatever reason, most brands, including Razer, HyperX, Logitech, do not give users the option to change this. Most of the time, it is because debounce time is something related to the firmware of the mouse. And these sorts of tools like Ingenuity act on the software side of things. Because the debounce time is assigned to the firmware and you don't have full control over this, it becomes impossible to change it. It is extremely unfortunate, but unless they release an update in the future, it is going to remain like this. The purpose of this video is not to spread misinformation, but to let people be aware about the limitations of changing the debounce time on HyperX Pulsefire Haste and how it is not possible to do this. If this video cleared up any questions that you had, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.